Hello, I'm John Cullum, and this is my wife Emily Frankel, and we are going to talk about something that is very disturbing to me. Well, we're going to talk about it for my blog, Ms. Talk. Oh, all right. Okay, so uh, what's disturbing to you? The way prices are going up. Oh, you know, because you're working on your blog and doing so much, well, you ha you literally don't have time to go out and shop. And since I'm not fully, you're involved, the shopper. I've been doing a lot of shopping, and I. John, am, thank you for doing the shopping. It's my pleasure, darling. That's just, a special thing. Well, I wish I could. I get am a the very things. lucky person to have a husband who does the shopping. Well, no. particularly since we live on the fifth floor. That's right. That's and right. Either he has to carry it up, or we have to have it delivered. But go ahead and talk about what you were going to say about prices going up. Well, I've always been a, a, a Ken Flint, and I, I, I would walk a half a mile to save two pennies on Are you a cheapskate? Cheap toothpaste, yeah. yeah. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, I, you're not. Well, I mean, uh, if, if, if... You're if, always buying special things for me. Well, that's different. Okay, so go ahead. So what's inflated? Everything? Everything seems to be going up. I'm mean, a loaf of bread. Used to be, gosh. Don't even try to remember what it cost. I, I well, you're right. How do right. people manage? That's what I don't know. I mean, the, the, the price of uh, food uh, is where I notice it, but I also, you know, wonder how these young actors can uh, can afford to to pay the prices that they do for for rent. I mean, uh, I. You remember when I when I first came to New York, I I paid seven dollars, six dollars in the first place for a little teeny room. Of course, it wasn't it wasn't big enough to I couldn't get out of bed without hitting walking into the wall. But uh, it, but nowadays not here, not here. There's no wall. Yeah, well, we've got plenty of space now, but uh, but. But how Kids. do they? How do yeah. they manage to pay their rent? I think uh, a lot of them do things that we didn't do. They they have they have roommates, sometimes six in a in a in a. Did you find apartment. that when you were doing the Shakespeare Festival this summer that a lot of the actors were struggling to make ends meet? They don't seem to. It doesn't seem to affect them. I guess that they don't realize it. Uh, I mean, when you know, it's, it doesn't seem strange to them because they've lived with it so long. But I'm, you know, it's such a big change from what I'm aware of. Uh, well, what about car fare and taxi fares, traveling? Well, they, they've all gone up. And, you know, that not only, one of the things that obviously concerns me is when prices go up the way they have, and uh, we start pushing towards what is a terrible thing, an inflation, I can't, I can't imagine what inflation, but that means that... Uh, are we in inflation yet? No, I don't no, think no. so. No, no. We're, Not yet, where they are no. on the verge. Well, I don't think we're even on the verge, but um, it's scary to think about because inflation deflates the all the work that we've done throughout our lives. The amount of money that we've saved becomes um, deflated in an inflation so that uh, a dollar is it will be shrunk down to 50 cents and uh, and the prices go up. Are you worried about money? I... Be truthful. Uh, I've always worried about money because I, I never could understand how in the world I could make money. It always amazes me that I get paid for what I do. <laughs> and, well, it's true. I mean, it was always, a, it was always a, a lark to me. Acting was not a job. John Cullum, you have supported me in a style you know? to which I've never been accustomed to, right. which is a wonderful style. Right. And you've surrounded me with, I'm living in a lovely home, huge home that mm -hmm. you bought, and we have everything that we need. So... I don't want you to pinch pennies, even though other people have to pinch pennies. Well, I, please don't pinch pennies. Well, I must admit that uh, you know I'm I'm getting a little better at that than because it doesn't really make any difference to us. It, it, it's more important that we we have what we want, and, and uh, I, I I look I look forward to spending money, whereas I used to be. No. I am a lucky lady. <laughs> oh, Emily, come on now.
I am, a, I'll say, I'll give that a better reading. Oh, I, like I that. am a lucky lady. I like the first reading. I'm very honest. And we both are very lucky. And uh, with that, we will say goodbye for this weekend, and uh, we hope to see you next weekend, because Emily and I are going to enjoy a nice supper together, regardless of how much it costs me to buy. Okay. So long.